locked at 720. So sadly, I can't do anything about that. Text, okay. All right, we got to figure out what we're doing with this place. Well, Sunday, Sunday we did some things, but the problem is too much Too much, too much grass. Oops. Try that again. Mm. It's just I get so much off cut and my little track truck over there just does not handle it. And I don't want to do bale wrapping. There's sound. Yeah, there's sound. I'm watching it right there on my audio levels. Hey, Rusher. Rusher, I, I bought things I regret. I regret buying the things I bought. I know that's not unusual, but I do. You noticed? Well, I thought that thing was an auto loader, but it's not. And that makes me sad. I found an auto loader on the Mod Hub but it's $180,000 and I'm not buying it. <laughs> now I could wrap all this stuff and go get an, uh, an auto loader again, but then we gotta go through the whole wrapping shenanigans. And, and I, don't, I don't really wanna go through the whole wrapping shenanigans. Kinda like this idea that we've come to with with how this works, but I don't know. It just feels everything is plotting against me. Wolf has Wolf has a uh, an auto picking trailer, but I can't find it for lo for love nor money, so I I don't know what he has. Steam, maybe you know. I wonder if it's just something that's not available to the PCs, which would be weird. Usually there's nothing that we don't have, but maybe it's a maybe it's a PlayStation only mod. Be weird, but I guess that's possible. But driving, but doing this hand picking thing, you're gonna get old real fast. That sounds good. Tomorrow's fine. I ain't in no rush. We ain't gonna get this all done. The Flagel flatbeds. Okay. I'll look. I swear I looked at them, but did they not say outright that they? auto stack because I I pulled up trailers I pulled up balers but I'm I, right now I'm stuck with this uh this sad little little trailer on our fiat We are not going to put that on until we have its mate.
All right, let's find our tractor. Okay. Uh, lower pickup, turn it on. Let me check tomorrow. Okay. I appreciate it. I, I picked up one, but it doesn't, it doesn't have an auto pick on it. And I was like, well, that's <laughs> yay. I have a bigger trailer that does the exact same thing. This trailer does. <laughs> Cause without an auto picker, this is just I mean, we're already in a kind of an untenable situation, right? Like I'm bailing this to haul it over, to cut the bales, to compress them, to turn it into silage. It's kind of, it's kind of all very weird and backwards. Strain man, hello. But weird and backwards is what I do. So <laughs> I guess it fits. That, of course, is going to go right where I need to go next, so. But we got a lot, a lot, a lot of bales um, off of this, this one little field here. And this is our second smallest field, so we're going to be sitting deep in grass here. which will be good for our silage, but man, it's gonna take a while to get there. He's watching the farm sim rerun, nice. All right, where? Hmm. Wow, we're almost done, which is good. Then we gotta go harvest a bunch of field. <laughs> Oh, so much, so much. You have a vacuum, you can't hear anything. Oh, okay. Well, we won't talk about you too much then, train man. While well, I'm thinking about it. So, where's Bales? Here's the trailer I found, guys. This lizard semi-trailer. But it doesn't actually have an auto stack on it. Which is sad. Very sad panda. Um, wait, is that an accumulator? No? Wait, is this an accumulator? Am I just stupid? Is that it? No, it's a standard stacker, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Um, so I found that it doesn't have an auto stacker on it. Then I found these guys. They do have auto stackers, but they're really expensive. Uh, even if we do our... Uh, No. You won't let me go to the discount condition. Fine. So even if we do that, that's $144,000 for that truck. Which I'm not doing. So we, we, we just. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Wolf's trailer is available to me. Or I can find uh uh, the Flagel flatbeds that Rusher suggested. Because otherwise, this is going to be a long, painful process. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and unload the Bela. I didn't really need to, but I wanted to anyway, because reasons. Reasons of because. It's the best reason I got. All right. All right, let's go get these guys. Ninety nine percent left in the baler triggered. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry. We have one, two, three more fields to go. Like I said, this is one of the smaller ones. I need 21 more blades of grass. Yeah, right. Like at that point, you just go clean out. Clean up, aisle two. Am I going to get pigs? It's a good question, dear kitty. This, this particular map has no pig production or selling facility. So I would have to construct all of that. So the answer is probably not on this map. This map has enough problems without me adding to it. Of course, most of the problems are by my design or in my caused by me, but whatever. Ross Michaels, hello, how are you? How has Euro Truck been treating you? Pigs are a lot of work, only make money in large numbers. Yeah. I've I've never really done the pig thing. Just woke up from a post stream nap. Nice. I'm doing okay. Trying to figure out what we're doing with bales because my bale trailer doesn't have an auto stacker on it, which is making life very, very difficult. Though I am getting really good at telehandler work. There we go. Fly go flap it. Okay, so the same thing that Rusher sa said. Okay. Huh. All right. I'll have to look for that thing. Someday you'll actually farm in this game. Eh. It's overrated. All right. Let's get ourselves over here. Get a nice little conga line of equipment going on to the next field. Yeah, I like the articulation. I know Wolf hates the articulation of this telehandler. I really like it because it does allow you to make very, very gentle adjustments. Deadshot, hello, how are you? Uh, turn on the harvester. That's what I need to do. Start it all over again. Stack equipment on train tracks and watch it fly. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm doing all right, Deadshot.
I think what I'm going to do with the uh, the difficulty of managing the bales is we're probably going to just harvest these fields up and then bale them. Well, no, I do actually want to get to that part, so never mind. We'll get, I see it, it uh, lift the header. And lower the header. After this map, if we ever get off this map, it's going to be a long slog to get off this map. Let's be let's be frank with ourselves here. Um, we've got so our goal to get off this map, we have to do every single crop with equipment we own. So we're we're down to potatoes, sugar beets, cotton sugarcane and poplars as the last crops that we haven't done and we also don't own any equipment to do any of those barrack thank you for triggering the monkey pack is that clear hunt rogan Hello, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You're frank with yourself? Thought I was there. Ah, uh, well, you know. Sometimes I'm frank, sometimes I'm not. What were you playing? Um, Mr. Hum Mr. Mrs. There. Whom. Whomever you are. Wh whatever whatever pronoun you want. Hunt Rogan. Uh, what were you playing? I'm betting farms in, but who knows. Um, little high before bed. Well, go have a good sleep, Beric. Don't let the armadillos bite, because that would be bad, because then you'd have armadillos in your house, and that's probably suboptimal. Major Bash, hello. I love the little waving critter. I have no idea what it is. Is it a dog? Is it a bunny? Is it a space elephant? I don't know what it is. How are you doing, Hunter Rogan? How was your stream? Oh, Flight Simulator. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been on Flight Simulator in a long time. Well, I don't have the new one, so there you go. Good until you tried to land. The landing is the worst part. Landing is the worst part. They're, they are the worst states of flight for an aircraft. Takeoff and landing, because that's where the aircraft is moving in an unnatural phase. Armadillos can have leprosy. That is a true statement. So that's why you don't want armadillos in your house. A person in a penguin suit? Could be. Could be. Looking at prices, cotton is going to be the most expensive thing. Yeah, I think so, Rusher. What aircraft were you flying, Hunt? Or Rogan, which do you prefer? Or how about Harogan? Because why not? My favorite aircraft to fly, Rogan, okay, that works. My favorite aircraft to fly when I was flying uh, FSX was um, I had the uh, a really nice Piper Cub. And I really enjoyed that thing because it was so forgiving. Ooh, an A320. Yeesh. So many electronics, so many jetting. Very easy to get behind the power curve on that one. Years have missed it. Not bad enough to hit windows on something. I mean, you just get parallels, right, train man? Isn't that the tool they have over there in Apple land? 
get parallels and slap Windows 10 on it and you're good to go. I have almost, um, speaking of Microsoft games, I have almost finished every championship in Forza Horizon 3. Oh yeah, me and uh, Carfera was on the Minecraft server with me many, many, many times. I've been around for a little while. Just a little while, not very long at all. Gotta wait for it to finish pooping. <laughs> More effort than you want. Ah, uh, yes. What am I har harvesting? Treffle. I'm harvesting treffle. Because this map has treffle. Your next question is going to be, what is treffle? I don't know. I think we looked it up last time and decided it was like a uh, uh, clover type thing. I'm hopeful that when we get the the fields all taken care of and the grass all over in the in the silage bin that we'll have the money to buy like I don't know the potato equipment or sugar beet equipment or something like that We're not going to plant every field in that crop, mind you, because that would be suicidal, realistically. All right, Rogan, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you sharing your community with me. And next time, better luck on landing, I guess. Wait for this to finish pooping out the grass. There we go. Let's lift the harvester so we can make this a good turn. All right. I'm trying to make straight lines of grass instead of the disaster that I had over on the other field. <laughs> Could I plant a single potato and harvest it? Would that count? I mean, technically, yes, it would, Rusher, but I mean, I'm all about bending rules, but... I'm, I'm going to play it straight. I can lift a harvester if you gain muscle since the last camera appearance. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was I was actually before COVID hit, I was going um I was going five to six days a week to the gym. I was actually starting to get some serious muscle tone. Then COVID hit and well that's the way it works, right? <laughs> I mean, I still have a pretty decent muscle tone because I'm always doing stuff in the shop and outside, but it's different, right? Yep. All 
All right, where is it's here? Let's see how much we can stuff onto this into this dump truck. Oh. Can do push-ups with Dossie. Well, I mean, she she weighs like five pounds, so yes. I did plant all my fields like this, Rusher. I did. Mainly because of the grass off. Grass off? The grass stuff here, then I could flip over to silage. Um, why are you face palming at that? Why do I get face palms for, for trying to optimize my monetary return? Badly, usually. Agra Cereal is a long drive. Is it really worth 14 per ton? Fifteen times four. Two, yeah, it's it's actually worth it. A French map. Okay. It's worth it. Yeah, I know. We'll get in our truck. Take our nice little drive to Aigreseriel. Past all the fields that we worked for the other farmers earlier. Well, Sunday or whatever day I did that. I just tried to turn my blinker on like I do in ATS. <laughs> Doesn't work. Shockingly, it does not work. And Dare Katie, I did see your message. Days oof. And the wool, we'll sell them. But there's not a lot there. So. If Wyoming ever gets released, it'll get released. I did finally get my ATS sorted out so that I could actually convoy. Ooh, $9,000. I'm still curious. Whoops. I'm still curious why Rusher facepalmed at me planting everything. Hey, Wolfman, how's it going? Do you teach me that we, can har we harvest the clover? I didn't know, but apparently you do. You're going to have to go talk to your farmers. <laughs> I don't know why you harvest clover per se, but I'm going to go with it. I'm just, I don't get a lot per thousand liters, but the grass is the best part. Standard GTA shenanigans. Nice. I'm not looking forward to the bales, the bales and the stacking and the loading and the hauling and the cutting and the. Clover seed. Some people mow it like can't use it for dairy feed. Some use it as food plot, but what am I harvesting? Like, what am I physically putting into my dump truck right now? Versus all the stuff I'm spitting out the back of the harvester. Oh, the seed. Okay. Foxy Detroit, hello. I love the little, what is that, a hamster? A fox? I bet you it's a fox, because Foxy Detroit, fox. Ha! I figured it out myself. Shush, Wolfman. 
Um, turn on the harvester. I do have the right equipment, Wolfman. I have the Manitou, the articulated Manitou, the best telehandler in the business. It belongs in, it is a fine vehicle. I can't help it that you don't know how to operate it. Anyone who doesn't know, I did challenge Wolfman to loading an entire trailer worth of bales using the Manitou telehandler, and he struggled mightily with that. With a combine harvester? Yeah, I don't, you know, it's. Uh, I'm going to call it artistic license, Barrick. <laughs> we'll call it artistic license. It's twisted and so is your mind. My mind is not twisted. It's fine. So a twisted T, no. <clears throat> you had interference from Denmark. Well, yes, you did have interference from Denmark. Want a dump truck and PS4 FS19? Yeah, I mean, there might be one. I don't know, maybe there is. I know nothing about the PS4, but Wolfman and uh, Steam are, 822 Steam are in and they can help. So you're saying, Rusher, that this is the, uh, the cop-out to the game mechanics is to harvest the... Uh, clover with the harp with the combine yeah makes sense i mean at some point you do have to draw that line between exacting exactness and not You only play, only play boards if you play. Yeah, I do every once in a while when I just need some game that I can pick up and put down at a moment's notice. I am. Um, Fourteen games away from being able to buy another game to finish 14 more games. But I look at the games I've got and I don't want to play them right now. You know? Probably if I started them, I'd be fine. But I just I don't want to play them right now. To be honest, I struggle to play anything off stream anymore other than on my Xbox. I'm on PC too, Barrick. That's the only reason I'm able to play with these extra crops. I don't think the PlayStation allows extra crops, nor the Xbox. So, there's some uncertain maps. Ah, okay.
Yeah, I'm, I'm not all up to speed on the limitations of the PlayStation versus the Xbox. Oui. Petit France. I'm, I... Petit France is a fine map, but it has its issues. <laughs> There's no hay cell point. The only way to load the digester at the biogas facility is with a front loader. And the silos at the biogas facility don't accept grass. These are things we have learned. Also, there's no pigs. PS5 will be different with new game. Yeah, I'm sure Farm Sim 22 will be very different. Ollie, hello. Uh, Beric, I speak French very badly. <laughs> a few words I'm fine with when I start to conjugate sentences or build sentences. Um, I get very confused. Uh, I worked for many years in Quebec. And I did some work with um, uh, TF1 in Paris. Uh, but they always told me to just stop speaking French. I learned French in middle school. And uh, I also speak Spanish and some Italian. I, I speak some English, not very much. A little bit of German and uh, actually a little bit of Japanese. So sometimes my sentence starts out in French. About midway through, it switches to Spanish because my brain can only conjugate that verb in Spanish. Then it might go to English. Then I might throw a German word in there. Um, I usually can. Good Lord, y'all. I'm not that bad. At least I don't speak gibberish like Wolfman in his weird accent from wherever he's from. Manchester or Birmingham or wherever. <clears throat> what am I harvesting? I am harvesting the truffle. Down in the bottom right of the screen there, it is clover, we think. <laughs> I knew I'd get you, Wolfman. A uh, little exotics. Yes, it's uh, part of the Petit France map. It includes the uh, the extra crops. There's four extra crops. The main, the main reason for harvesting the clover is all the grass offcut that you get. Back when we were wrapping bales, we were mad wrappers. We, we were better than Tupac. Um, I don't know where that came from. But uh, we made about 30000 per per uh, delivery. So we made about... 45 grand per field in terms of the baled grass. So we're aiming to get a lot of money off of these fields. <clears throat> All right, incorrect, Wolf. Uh, that would if would be if I called you a uh, London boy.
But you know what? What's interesting? After listening to Wolf for a while, it makes me want to uh, to rewatch um, My Fair Lady. Not that Wolf is a fair lady, definitely not a fair lady, but it's a good movie. Musical, I guess is the technical what it is. You're not sure what you like worse? Well, it's all right. I could have called you a Scott, but then Brew would get all offended. Oops. You're more of a scabby old crone than a fair lady? Well, we know that. All right, where's my dump truck? There it is. Parts got us technically not wrong. All right, fine. Next time I'll remember to call you Danish in front of Vam. That'll that'll just rile him up more than anything. Nope. Right, turn that off. World's slowest uh, auger. World's slowest auger. Call him German. <laughs> it's funny how much the uh, the Germans get. No, don't fold it, you stupid thing. Turn on. It's funny how how calling someone German riles them up, can rile them up. It's uh, kind of funny. I'm not really sure how this field got cattywampus, but it did get cattywampus. Oh, I did pick up a mod for dairy, dairy sheep. I think we might put dairy sheep in. Who wants sheep's cheese? I know Wolf wants sheep's cheese. It's really not bad for you. <laughs> Sounds delightful. Uh... I've actually had some sheep's cheese. Um, there's a Spanish cheese that can only be made, in order to call it this particular kind of cheese, it has to be made with um, sheep milk. It's actually pretty good. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I also don't wear cheese on my head. Keep ramming the sheep jokes in. I know, I know. I can't pull the wool over your eyes, can I? They're lamentable, lamentable, yes. Well, if I kept going, if I keep going, would I be a woolly bully? There's so many, um, it's 12.44 a.m. All right, Eric, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. You feel like you should get the maximum use from that emote? Yes. All right, I think instead of going all the way to the end and then turning around and coming back, we're just going to do a, this is getting sheepish. <laughs> yes, it is. Hmm. 
What What do you want, train man? We We might go up. We might go go on the lamb <laughs> from the pun police. <laughs> this conversation needs shepherding elsewhere. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we can go move to... Just don't get chopped. Uh, we can go to cow jokes if you prefer cow jokes. I mean, we could just move right along to cow jokes. We could steer our way right to those cattle jokes. <laughs> Last question. I thought you were going to bed. Am I from the United States? Uh, yeah. Well. United States... And Luxembourg are my citizenships. We could go to the dogs and get our mutt on. <laughs> uh, turn off the harvester. Wait for it to finish. Dough. All right. That field is done. This field is expanded over here. Field 12. If you look at the map, it looks... Uh, Small, but I expanded it quite a bit. So we got to have a lot of harvesting to do. Get that EU residency. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why the American accent. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, can, I can make all kinds of accents. It just depends on what exactly I want to do to torture Wolf Man. Because, you know, he don't like all the accents I've got. <laughs> Dare is American. <laughs> yes. Yes. Usually. Sometimes. I just figured I existed outside of nationalities. I just am. 346 accents, only five of them resemble humans. I don't know what you're, you're on about. Uh, lower merger, turn on merger. Bunch of slander from some Manchester kid. Dare is a Hagenstead national. Uh, so my goal here, very simply, is to reduce the amount of time I have to go back and forth with the uh, the uh, baler. You know, it'd just be easier if I just got out and moved it. If you want to be brave, call Sarah English. Do I look stupid, Wolfman? I know better than to call a Welsh woman a Brit, English woman, whatever. It'd be like calling Brew a Englishman. <laughs> Where are we? Where, oh, where is our little tractor gone? There it is. And so is Brew, which upsets him. Well, I mean, a lot of things upset Brew, so it's not necessarily unusual. But they are not English folk. <laughs> and then there's one G who lives in the past. I mean, that's all we can really say about him, right? 
and treaks. They lived back in that day there where they didn't use horses and carts to get around. They got to talk like this because they got lost their teeth because they don't know what a toothbrush is. One she is the oldie English, yes. We're going to go right here. So this, this pile that we're creating is going to get out of control pretty quick, and I know that, but I like this merger for its ability to, to make my bailing much less painful. What, Rusher? What now? What have I done now? You know, it's it's like having a it's like having a critic and an accountant at the same time. Oh wait, that is exactly what Rusher is. An accountant critic. She's joining you guys on an MP. Wow, she must be planning on drinking heavily before that. My, mer my merging has already gone out of control. It's fine, Rusher. It's fine. It's totally not unusual. For me, anyway. But just think, Rusher, if I get this all merged into one big long line, how easy it's going to be. I'm not actually going to merge it into one line, by the way. I do have my, my sensibilities. Thank you for triggering a monkey pack, Rasmus Duck. I'm going to call you Rasmus Duck. Because I feel like it. Unless you absolutely hate that, in which case I'll just call you Rass. Imagine if you could have an entire farm 10 miles long and one pass wide. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I know that, Wolfman, but I like duck better. Duck Larange. Duck Lorange. There. See, we're going to have this merged into three lines of grass. We are going to be able to bale this super fast. Americans, jeez. Don't make me come over there. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> I mean, I do want to come over there, but, you know. See, Rush, aren't you proud? I've made a big... Big pile of grass. Wait till the baler calls it quits? Nah. I paid for the superpower baler. And off and lift. And fold. <laughs> you need to get over here, beer to be had. Yeah. I had an interesting um, chocolate oatmeal beer recently. Wait, why did I do that? All right, drop that, start that, and let's go get the baler.
It was it was very interesting. It's a chocolate oatmeal beer, and it's unique. <laughs> Let's say it that way. It's unique. But it's like breakfast because you're having oatmeal. That's that's my thought right there. Look at that. My bailer has it. Oh man, I missed a little little line, but that's all right. Look at how quickly we're just dropping them bales. Dropping it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right, we've got a few spots to clean up over here. There. Nemois Boo, or Bo, hello, how are you? Occasional chocolate ale. Hmm. Yeah, I've I've got one. It's a coffee stout with a chocolate, a little bit of chocolate in it. Really good. I did send you something beer related, and you ignored me. And I feel I see how it is. The monkeys, the monkeys. Thank you for triggering the monkeys. Nemois Boo. Or Nemo Ebu. All right, let's go. See, Rusher, aren't you proud how how um, operationally efficient I am right now? I feel like I'm highly operationally efficient. I do know. Wolf, that's him not offended at all. And you know that. See, we'll be done here in a very short amount of time because we were so operationally efficient by merging everything into one big long line. Well, three big long lines, but whatever. All right. See how it slows the tractor down when it starts to get overwhelmed the baler? The bailer is like, yep, slow right on down there, bud. There we go. Oh, we're going to have this problem now, I bet. It's one thick line of grass. It is. It is a very thick line of grass. We're going to have problems with our uh, duels. Running over the bales. This is pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit larger than I expected. So, you know, you gotta you gotta make uh, I gotta make adjustments to the uh, the procedures. Our optimal efficiency procedures need a small adjustment, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <clears throat> Do I need those wheels in France? Eh, 
Serenar said no, but I'm going to use him anyway. I felt like it looked kind of silly when I had it with singles and I was running the um, uh, the plow because I felt like the plow probably needed the extra wheels. Maybe not anymore, but... You know, I'm too lazy to go take him off. We'll get there as he runs over bales. Well, look, I, I completed my goal. I got it. All right. Uh, turn off the bale. Unload the baler. There we go. That is one field of a lot of bales. <laughs> Holy cats, man. Okay, now I need, oh no, I actually need this truck. Fasten our belts. Belts and braces approach. All right, we're going to be logical about this. Shut up, Wolfman. We're going to park on the, on the road. You suggest an auto stacker now. I don't have one, though. So, you know. Uh, I have no idea what the most profitable base game crop is, Derek Kitty. I've never bothered to do the numbers. What's bad language, no logic? Hey, hi, hi. We are doing just fine in here. We can get 24 bales on this trailer. And we know this because we've done it. It's not pretty, mind you. Nor is it recommended for road use, but we do it anyway. Um, I need to push that back onto the trailer because, yep, I pushed it off the other side. See, look at that professional operation of an articulated telehandler right there. That's right. Professional operation of an articulated telehandler. Technically, canola doesn't have great yield either. I don't remember the exact yield per acre. I had, cal I had it calculated for like Farm Sim 13, I think. This is how we load our bales, load our bales, load our bales. This is how we load our bales. La da da da. Look at that. Look at that. Professional right there. Oh, you feel you feel canola is better than soybean. Hmm. If you're on a map that has a sale point for straw, any any one that produces straw actually, you've got that extra sale of straw on top to 
to account for. A lot of people forget that when they do the math. Like they're like, oh, I get the highest amount for, for this or that, but then they forget the sale price of the straw as well. Yeah, I don't know what oats are. I think oats might be pretty good. I always just jump in the game and just start doing whatever. I mean, y'all know me. <laughs> Rarely do I sit here and plan anything out. Here we go. Look at that beautifully stacked trailer of grass. Yeah, you're right. Straw collecting equipment does add that expense early on. Though if you're playing at the lowest difficulty, most of the maps start you with the basic equipment. Or you at least have enough to rent the equipment that you need. Especially if it's something as simple as a loading wagon. See, this is where this is where my professional loading operation comes into play. I had a brainwave from last time we did this, by the way. So my brainwave is, look, I could stack this guy right here, right? Oh. Hmm. <gasps> no, I know what I can do. I thought I could do that, but no. The game is very right. I had that wrong. But I've got a solution. There we go. Count down the trailer to being over. <laughs> I. All right, we're going to do this a little bit differently because we can. So look at this. If I grab at the end, right, now I can increase the amount that I put on the trailer, I think. Just gotta, I just got to get it lined up right. I think about here. There we go. This is going to be awesome. And see all the pa all the great articulation and the great operation you can have with a with an articulated telehandler wolf. Most profitable grass grass yeah I guess actually you probably are correct on that because you'd have the baling equipment as your cost Well, because you got your bail, your 
So in this game, a full uh, auto stacker round um, a round bale auto stacker trailer, a full one, gets you thirty thousand dollars at the end of the day, Derek Kitty. So that that full trailer and you figure a big enough field might produce you two trailers worth, right? Then you've got yourself 60 grand off of a field. That's why I'm going through the trouble of collecting all this grass. Like the amount of money I'm gonna get off of this more than covers the pain and suffering I go through to collect it. <laughs> you can stick mower on front, bale wrapper on bale, baler with wrapper on the back, go faster, less equipment. True. They are. You're right. Balers are expensive, but you gotta think about your ROI, your return on investment. Your investment is large, but your return is high as well. So you're going to get your investment return to you relatively quickly. And if you're not playing on Petit France, where you need a front loader as well, it's even better. Oh yeah, you can totally do the loading wagon too. Which is what everybody wanted me to do instead of what I'm doing. <laughs> and yet here we are. Oh, and Wolf, you know why we're doing this, right? You know why I'm doing it this way. I had the bale wrapper. I think I still have it actually. The one that you use. I've got the square bale wrapper, but you know why we're doing it this way? Because our mutual friend Fad said, well, what's the difference between watching you and watching Wolf if you both have the same equipment? So we're doing it this way. Which is painful. Quite honestly. <laughs> oh, I know. It was more of a, since he said it, I figured I'd do something about it. Okay, now, dare, you know, you could just pick up two at a time and you could save yourself a lot of trouble. You're right, I could, but here we go. It's just the one. All right, I think I can only get one more on there. So my idea is not working the way I wanted it. <laughs> Dare has much more precision and expertise. That's the difference. Wow. You're using the pit method now for TMR purposes? Hmm. Uh, nope, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Because we'll just do this, we'll load this one from the back. <laughs> yeah, 
Wow. You know what? Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. It's terrible. There. Can I? Um, I can't get to the another level up, can I? I think we, we looked already. No, I don't think I can get another level up. All right. Okay. Let's get this. Beautiful disaster. Look at it. It's beautiful, guys. Don't look too hard at it. All right, let's go. It's a little bit off center, but... It's okay. It's all right. We're going to make it. We've made it once before. We can do it again. What we've learned is to slow down. Oh, good Lord, get back on your rear wheels. Thank you. Farming Sim has come up. Whoop, whoop. Hold on. Got it. Nope, I don't got it. Oh, donuts. Uh, Farming Sim has come a long way since Elephant has escaped from a circus lure it back with some peanuts. Oh my god, I do remember those ones. Hold on, we have a small problem here. Wait, can I do it? No. Uh, all right. Shh, quiet, all of you. I didn't drop a single one, Wolf. <laughs> I've not made Vam look like Colin Ray. Tip over it took longer than you expected? Really? I made it almost all the way to the biogas plant last time before I managed to flip it over. But I have I am now practiced with uh telehandler recovery systems. So we're all good here, guys. We're all good because I am highly practiced with the telehandler recovery system. Hold on. So the issue right now is I got my fork stuck in the, uh, in there. So then what I got to do is I got to rotate my fork correctly. No, no, no. Come on. I know I can do this. I've done it before. There. 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 Ha! There. Proper recovery method. Rusher, why are you face palming? I did this. I, I did it. I got it. It's all good. If you have an accident, remember... It was an accident, exactly. There. See? I have the skills. I have all the skills. It does it should record game sound in VOD. All right, we're going to go this way because otherwise it's going to be a disaster. Hold on. We just have to we just have to operate within the bounds of physics. You don't think the trailer was rated for this many? I don't know how you could think that, Rusher. 
I mean, if my telehandler was taller, we'd have at least another six bales on here. Time for barbecue chicken. All right. Yes, I'll see you next week, train man. Next Tuesday is the hope. All right. We made it. We're good. Everybody happy. Even if you're not, we made it anyway. I think, you know, I think my problem, Rusher, I think my problem is not the trailer. I think my problem is the truck is probably a little bit um, um, undersized for the job. I'm just thinking. Okay, now unfasten the belts. It's got a dump on it, guys. Look, it's got a dump. Yeah, I have only one problem. Yeah, I only have one problem. I didn't know I had a dumper on this trailer. That is amazing. I'm so pleased. Except we got a different problem in that the bales aren't coming off. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to enact plan Z. <laughs> ah, oh God, I'm stuck. Hold on. I <laughs> didn't get a tap or <sighs> what what i'm cutting the bales i'm also getting stuck in the oh god here we go again all right oh there we go there we go that's unloaded that's totally done got it mostly kinda it's cool cut the bales cut the bales cut the Bales. More bales. Yay! I cut the bales. <laughs> Professional farming. Darn Skippy. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. There we go. The old, the old farm sim technique for getting out of a stuck situation. Boom. Look at that. We did it. All right. Look at that. <laughs> we did it. We've got um, almost 200,000 liters in this, in this thing. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to compact it. I have no idea what I'm going to use to compact. I'm probably going to have to be that that uh, tractor with the extra wheels. Let's be realistic. <laughs> Let's be realistic, he says. Yeah. There, that worked out. Don't you feel that worked out really well? I feel like it did. That that scaled down grass recreation of the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. So, what's your point? What are you, what are you trying to say, Wolf Man? You don't like my my recreation? I think it's a beautiful recreation. I was trying to capture the best side of the mountains, and it's grass and Rocky Mountains. Ha. <laughs> Hot joke. Ski slope for squirrels. <laughs> Maybe. All right. We learned last time that this thing is a terrible compacting device. I realize that's shocking to everybody here, but the Manitou is a terrible compactor.
All right, I don't want to collect any more bales because there's a lot of them. Holy cats, is there a lot of bales? So let's go find. I want to do some compacting really quick. Because we got the extra tires, which give us plenty of weight, right? Level with me, guys. Should I just get a loading wagon? <laughs> yes, but at this point, what? <laughs> Russia's like, please spend money for a change. This is the one time I'm going to let you spend money. You put too much effort into it and I can't? What? I didn't realize that was a... I didn't realize there was a restriction on effort. That doesn't seem right. A record would be more practical. Well, funny you should say that, Wolf. I've got three wreckers here. I could buy one. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's compact this. Get rid of the squirrel ski slopes, as Wolf has taken the calling them. That works much better than the Manitou. Oh, I found another bale, guys. Get closer. Cut it. I think this is going to work. And then we'll get the rest of the grass from the uh, next two fields, which are my two largest fields, actually. Um, and that should really fill out this silo. Um, I do have to buy a bucket but that's fine actually oh, I know what I could do I just had a brainwave guys it's gonna be amazing I just had a brainwave and it will be amazing We gotta finish compacting all this though. And get all the rest of the bales in. You want to I You're gonna love my idea. The question is should I just do it and then you guys come and see what I've done? What do you think? I mean I gotta do all the the harvesting and grass collecting, that's probably going to take me forever anyway, but. Or do you just want to hear what my brainwave is so that you can uh, you can be properly amazed? You're guessing it'll be unconventional. Whatever gives you that idea. 
<laughs> Rusher, really? Really, Rusher? Come on, I have great ideas sometimes. Sometimes they don't work out, but you know what? At least I try. All right, we almost got this flattened enough that we'll actually be able to get in here with the Fent, I feel. Which is kind of what I was aiming for, so I could actually get the Fent back in here. <laughs> he's been face palming so long, he's got palm prints on his face. Yeah. I think my idea is genius. It requires a little bit of capital, but that's fine. This is gonna generate a huge amount of money. All of this, all this chaff is gonna be like, it's gonna be amazing. We're at 60% compacted, guys. All right. Like how much money? Um, I can never be 100% sure. But, okay, here's my thought. Here's my idea. That's the wrong button. Here's my idea, guys. Belt systems. I can set up a belt system to collect the, the silage from the silo, run it across a couple belts, and dump it into the, the biogas receiver. Oop, get out. Nope, get, get out. Okay, there we go. So I put, I'd have the dumper belt going up there. And then it can kind of come down in here and then we can have another one. We'll probably need a couple little belts to reach all the way down, but I think that will be perfect. That's what I'm thinking. Then I don't need a front loader anymore. I figure like, <laughs> 30,000 invested and we'll easily make that back. Granted, I'm gonna have to figure out how belts work, but but that's fine. Oops, oops. Yeah, see, it wasn't that bad, Rusher. Only one way to work it out, and that's to try it. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to get rid of that trailer, and I'm going to get the um, the bale trailer that uh, that Wolf you use, because Steam told me what it was, and so did Rusher. So I'm going to auto-pick instead of having to manually load. The only downside is that I can't make my awesome bale stacks, but whatever. We'll make do. Now this field is very large. Well, not as large as what I did to field 15, but it's up there.
especially in a field with yeah well if you have 100 bales in a field that's yeah the pain and suffering of having to do that well i mean if you learn really quick you can triple stack with that mana too which i should have been doing but you can triple stack with that mana too so i mean you'd only you'd only have to run around how many times with that mana too collecting bales what i really really want and i have not found a mod for it i think it's called an accumulator it sits behind the square baler and as the square bales come out it it like keeps them and holds them until um, until it has three bales and then it drops them, which I think then makes it so much easier because then you can just pick up three bales at once. The farmer next to us has one. And I think it's an amazing little machine. Stack on one big tower, like Bale Jenga. Well, there is the famous Bale Hockey incident on YouTube. That used, I believe, a caterpillar harvester with a 36-foot head on it and a bunch of bales. Stop. It's giving you an idea. Uh oh. Are you gonna are you gonna set up a bail hockey match? What are you streaming tomorrow, Wolf? This field feels so much bigger now. I mean, it is bigger now, but. Definitely worth buying the bigger header for this combine. I think driving a combine or just, you know, just harvesting or whatever. Okay, maybe not a combine because you actually have to think about what you're doing a little bit, but cultivating or something like that. I'd totally be cool with that. Pop a podcast in, which is kind of what I do in real when I'm doing farm sim anyway when I'm not on stream is I pop a podcast on. Just chill while I'm going back and forth. Not sure what. Trinsim update is coming in installments. What does that mean? 
Listen to your favorite streamer play farm sim. <laughs> so they're not sending you one. They're not sending one patch. You have to download multiple patches. It seems weird. Yakuza spinoff and then No Man's Sky. Nice. I shouldn't have parked that tractor there. I'm going to hit the tractor. Oh, well. Whew. And this isn't even the biggest field we got. The new improved field 15. Hoofta. Oops. <laughs> Where's the truck? Oh God, it's all the way back there. Oh, so it's a whole bunch of different things they're doing. Ah, I see. Has anyone heard of um, the new game that's coming out called, um, I think it's called Humankind. It's supposed to be a competitor to uh, Civilization. Looks interesting. I kind of have wandered away from Civilization because, uh, yeah, um, because. <laughs> I do have Civ 6 that I have not even played. I have it, but I've never played it. I heard it's fun, but slightly broken. Uh. But slightly broken is fixable, Ollie. <laughs> it's kind of how I look at it. Game coming up called Bum Simulator. Uh. There's so many strange games now, like Power Washing Simulator. Give me a break. I watched someone play it, play it and I was just like, that's not even remotely something I would, like I get the idea it's like Zen in the motion, but if I want Zen in the motion, I'll go do something else. <clears throat> How much did I get in Minecraft? I got a building built. Most new games are slightly broken or in the case of cyberpunk, very broken. Yes, that's true. I, I still, I got so many games. And I'm really got, I've really gotten most of the small games out of the way. So now I've got, I mean, I've got some small games, but it's a lot of, Nope, not that button. It's a lot of heavy duty games, like 40 hour games. You recommend giving Civ 6 a go? See, I kind of stopped um, with Civilization when they stopped allowing you to stack units. Lawn mowing, I've seen that one too. 
I don't need a simulator for that. I just go out in my backyard. Not as much right now because it's stupid hot, so the grass is all dead, but whatever. You can again in six to some degree. Ah, that's good to know. Maybe I'll give it a try. Am I getting Farm Sim 22? Eventually, that would be the answer to that question. Eventually. He said it was a crap he'd get a steamer refund. I mean, that's a good enough review, right, Wolfman? <laughs> well, I mean, it is Brooksy, so... Maybe not. Oh my goodness. Can't wait for farm some using real world mapping data. Oh my gosh. Everybody's doing that, but you know what my problem with that is? Unless they've properly prepped for it, that does mean you must always be online, and I hate that. There are plenty of times where I'm not a I can't be online. Like my router is dead or something like that. It doesn't happen a lot, but I just worry that companies are, are getting too much into this. We're going to use real world mapping data. That's why I didn't want flight sim. That and I kind of burned out on flight sim. You can only do so many flights before you just kind of go, yeah, no. I did find my joystick, though. But I think I'm going to get rid of it. I say that, I probably never will. I do have an entire shelf unit. Four shelves full of stuff that is getting sold slowly because people are dumb. I swear if one more person on Craigslist sends me a thing asking if they can only take some of the free magazines I'm giving away, on Greg's list, I'm gonna scream. You can't play Flight Sim anymore. Windows Store Air, the solution is to reinstall Windows. That sounds very Microsoft. That sounds very Microsoft. It's one thing if it's Steam, right, Ollie? Because you're like, okay, fine, I'll reinstall Steam, whatever. Or Epic or GOG. But when it's like, yeah, reinstall your OS, um, no. Oh, City Skylines where the people kept setting in everything. Yeah, I know. I kind of burned out on City Skylines because it doesn't let me do exactly what I want. And I really began to hate the farming in City Skylines. What I should do is I should pull out Cities XXL because I really love how they did farming in Cities XXL. And I wish City Skylines would do the same.
My ground is a little bit bumpy here and it makes it hard for my harvester. All right, we're gonna go and get these ones that I missed. Basically have to go backwards up the same way. Another game you happily stream but never play off stream. Well, There's a, like if you saw Cities XXL Wolf, you'd understand why, like I want to pick and choose the bits and pieces of the games. Because the farms in that game are so much better. Though I don't know how you manage City Skylines with the PlayStation controller. Because to me, the whole the whole reason for it, uh, or the the biggest need, is the um, the tight finessing, like really finessing stuff. And obviously you can't do that with the controller. Well, I guess you can. It's just more difficult. All right. Fine. Be full then, dump truck. Well, what I question, Wolf, is if I put you on a computer doing City Skylines, would you would you ever be able to go back to the controller? <laughs> it's like uh, Sims 4 as well is another one where it's like, I just don't don't get it. Well, that game only probably not, yeah. It's like first-person shooters. I mean, people who play it. My brother, he only played first-person shooters on the Xbox. He was amazing at him. I couldn't play like that with the controller all i ended up doing was shooting walls and ceilings and thirty-five thousand feet left of the target but put me on a computer yeah Now, Farm Sim, I've converted mostly to the controller, though with the PC, of course, a lot of the mods, you end up having to go off a controller to get to all the settings, but eh, it is what it is. Farmer's Dynasty, the game makes you go into story mode, then you see a tractor, it's a massive plow job to keep, yes, it's a... Uh, I think it took me two and a half hours to plow that field. Yeah, I don't know how people that, that have, are able to like free aim with a controller and shoot a moving target. I'm like, awesome. Not ever happening. <laughs> Give me a mouse, keyboard. I'll hit it every time, but that's not true. I won't hit it every time, but much more accurate. 
especially the gaming mice with the super high DPI on them. Uh, old plow dare kitty. Farmer's Dynasty was an interesting concept that was poorly executed and then abandoned. Have I played Lumberjack Dynasty? No. And I don't really want to. <laughs> the Dynasty game, the Farmer's Dynasty game kind of ruined me on the concept. Because I know they have Medieval Dynasty out now, too. You'd log your hours on that. Oh, boo. <laughs> so you even got a boo from Russia, and Russia rarely boos. You're privileged. <laughs> uh, try the merge Sims and Farm Sim. Yes, that's exactly what they did, Dare Kitty. <clears throat> well, let's unload our load of treffle. And then we'll probably be in a good stopping point. Cottage Living DLC. I guess that's the other way you could do it, right? I think Cottage Living did it in the inverse. Went from Sims 4 and added farming. Farmer's Dynasty was farming and added Sims. Don't forget the sound setting DLC so you can change your sound set exactly. I like Sims 4 for the idea, but man, they have milked that kitty dry. And we'll just wait this time so we don't hang up our dumper on the... <laughs> there we go. Keep it on base game. Yeah, I think I have a couple DLCs for Sims 4. I don't know. I'd have to launch the EA launcher to find out. But, yeah, Sims is a decent enough game. It's just not, I don't know. EA just keeps flogging the dead horse. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, now they do. I I had a I got Sims 4 before they allowed that, so I'm locked into their launcher. What always um amazed me was back in the in the day when they uh were first on Steam and Ubisoft does the same thing where they've got their store and then the Steam sale and they never beat the Steam sale on their own store. I'm like, why would you not? Like, I, I realize they probably can't leave. They probably are in a exclusivity agreement or something that says they can't run a sale at the same time. But you could do like right afterward, like a big massive cut that beats the steam sales which are all crap now but whatever wait a minute what did i do i turned i turned that off i didn't want to turn that off i wanted to turn that on Because for a little while, EA and Ubisoft would give away free games on their on their launchers, and those were good, kind of like Epic keeps doing. Of course, they were usually from the back catalog, but. In my mind, a free game is a free game is a free game, right? All right. We're definitely not getting this field finished. <laughs> But this field is pretty far along. And then that big monster field 15. But we'll definitely have the Flygel trailer for that. And we're going to end up with a lot of grass, a lot of silage. Which means a lot of money in the biogas plant. I think we're setting ourselves up for, for being able to buy all the other equipment that we need. Or at least setting ourselves up that we can buy most of the other equipment we need and maybe just run clover on one of the fields. I can imagine when I when I uh, merge all this together, that's going to be a. I probably won't even merge it because I've got these lines pretty straight. I'll probably just run without the merger. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to need the merger on this one. Because I kept my lines nice and straight. Or as straight as the field would allow. All right, I think probably going to stop here. Turn that off. All right, cool. All right, I think we're going to stop here for this stream. Um, a reminder that I will be next back, I will be back next Tuesday. There we go. There's the words I was going to say. Um, so no streams until Tuesday, the whatever date that is. I don't, I don't actually know what date that is, um, but that's the next time I will be back. Um, thank you to... Uh, Beric for the follow and uh, Hunt Rogan for the raid and Rasmus and uh, Nemo Ebo for the follows. So I do appreciate that. Thank you everyone for hanging out and chatting. Let's do a raid. Uh, we're going to raid Hypo. It's a very different game, guys. It is Bloodborne, but Hypo is a good egg. So um, let's go ahead and raid Hypo. And... Um, throw pun dogs in his chat if you got them. If you don't, well, put other things in his chat. Um, give him give him a hard time because he'll he'll end up talking in a doorway for twenty minutes and forget that he's playing a video game, which is always a hilarious thing to watch happen. So uh, yeah, uh, I will see you in a, uh, about a week. Till then, take care, everybody. <laughs>